This year, Her Majesty the Queen will be the first British monarch to celebrate a Platinum Jubilee. That's 70 years of service, and I wanted to cook something today that was at the banquet all those years ago in 1953. It is, of course, Poulet René Elizabeth, or as we know it in today's world, Coronation Chicken. Many of the ingredients used in this recipe were considered quite exotic at the time, rationing still being a thing in post-war Britain. This dish was originally created by Constance Spry and Rosemary Hum and was meant to be served cold in a salad. Nowadays it's served in a sandwich or even on a jacket potato. It's a lovely dish to knock up. This is how we do it. The good thing about coronation chicken is you can use leftover chicken from a roast dinner or something like that. I'm going to start mine off from scratch and poach it, which is actually a very nice way to cook chicken breast and it will keep it moist. As a cheat for an extra punch of flavour, I use a vegetable stock cube first, then pour in some water and put the heat on. These are pretty plump chicken breasts, full of flavour, and I put this on a medium heat and they'll sit quite happily there and cook. It will take between 5 and 10 minutes depending on the weight of your meat. Whilst that's going on, I'm going to start chopping some of my ingredients for the sauce. These lovely apricots can be chopped up in small chunks, and also these almonds can be cut into slithers. In the supermarket, to buy pre-chopped almonds would have cost me another 70p, believe it or not. As I don't like chucking money down the drain, I'd much rather cut these myself. Also got these lovely sultanas, which I'm going to put on the board for later. Once this chicken has had its time, you can get your probe out and check its temperature. When it's hit 65 degrees, you know it's done. Take out and rest on a plate to cool. You can leave this to cool completely. If you're unsure it's cooked, you can always cut it open to check. A good little trick to extract more flavour out of the spices is to toast them before they're used. You may have known that anyway, but this is what I'm going to do to my curry powder. You're probably thinking, why am I not weighing anything out? If I had done everything by the book, I would be. But this sauce isn't set in stone. If you like more sultanas, put more sultanas in. If you're not so keen on apricots, put less in. I think cooking can be done by feel sometimes, and personal preference. So I would encourage you to go with your instinct and what you fancy on that particular day. Next, start by making this dressing. A coronation chicken dressing should be predominantly made out of mayonnaise. I'm also using yogurt, but you could use creme fraiche here. Mix these two together and add in that roasted curry powder, which I allow to cool. A lovely bit of mango chutney goes in. I absolutely love mango chutney. Also a drop of Worcestershire sauce, gives a nice tang. Once the chicken breasts have cooled, you can chop those up into small chunks or shred them up. The apricots and sultanas can go in. I'm just going to run a knife through the sultanas actually, so they're a bit smaller. Add in along with some freshly diced coriander. For my salad option, I dress the plate with my leaves and then set this wonderful coronation chicken on top. I garnish mine with coriander and the chopped almonds. Oh, and you can serve it on a jacket potato too. So that's the wonderful coronation chicken recipe. I'm really hungry now, so I'm going to dive in and have a taste. I can tell back in 1953 why this is such a luxurious dish. It is um, really creamy and really indulgent, which I love. I love the spice, but it's definitely not too spicy. And I think the idea of the curry powder, it's just like a background note which works beautifully well. I think this is a great thing to have in a salad, having a nice baguette, or you can have it on a jacket potato as well. It's just a really nice combination of ingredients. The chicken as well, poaching the chicken keeps it really moist, which I think is, is brilliant. I was doing a bit of research of the types of dishes which were served at this banquet. They were dishes like tomato soup with tarragon, river trout, lemon mousse roll, and strawberry pancakes. If you want to see how to make pancakes, I'm going to put my pancake video 
up here and also in the description below. So you can check that out if you want. You can see how to make some beautiful pancakes. Thank you so much for watching fellow foodies and I'll catch you next time.